Good day. So you want to learn Grand Theft Auto San Andreas any percent? To complete it not in, uh, what is it, four-ish hours or how fast you're going to be. No, you want to complete the game in 15, 16, 17 minutes. And that is possible. All you need is the Windows Store version of San Andreas. And hey, this is me. And I can somewhat explain how to do it. So how about we go into it? Uh, before we get into it, we should go into the options. First things first. Uh, display setup? No, not display setup. You want the frame limiter to be on. This is a mandatory thing, just so that everyone with different computers and specs and whatnot have the same, uh, the same experience. So someone with an RTX 4090 doesn't have like a better game than someone with a GTX 570 from 20 years ago. I'm, I'm saying numbers, don't listen to me. You want that. I put traffic mode on heavy myself, just so there's like a lot of, uh, yeah, there isn't too much driving around here. And you want to get find a police bike at the start. That, that's my reasoning for it. I don't know if it's actually right or not. Hmm. On foot controls, you want to make note of some things like previous weapon and how to fire. I actually had to invert sprint and jump. The real important one is answer phone call. You can see that my mouse is not hovering over the thing that I want it to be. It's really weird. Then again, this whole person is weird. I like the background though. Any case, answer phone. You want that to be on a key that you can re reliably hold while you're driving. Or walking or doing any things with. Tap is like one of those keys that makes it really easy. Can I? Yeah, in vehicle controls is also one of those things. I had to actually change the binds for uh, the camera, but that's, that's me. The important one is that you remember to have few stats on another key that you can reliably hold while driving. For me, that's left control. The whole idea here, it unlike the original version where you have to bind these things to the same key uh, to hold a glitch phone call because that's what we'll be doing later on. That's out of the window. That's because of the whole reasoning how the PlayStation 2 controls worked. That's not the case here. But yeah. Uh, I think that's those are the important ones. Otherwise, I'll... I'll tell you all about it. Oh, and on foot you want to know how to change weapons. I switched that to mouse wheel. And I think that's mostly it. So, I do have a life split going on somewhere. Yeah, here. You can actually see that if I zoom out, that I have a few programs open. I got my own uh, thing right here. The game. I got life split. Uh, Got some really weird things, but I only need three splits. There is an auto splitter for it. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. You can find this on uh, resources. If I search for ASL, life split load removal. Uh, don't think this is the same one. Is this the same one? Added support for Windows Store version, it is. And then you just start and it splits whenever you need it to. Uh, I got Cheat Engine in the back. When you're running, you're not allowed to have Cheat Engine open, unfortunately. That has to do with knowing the value. I will be talking about the time in MS value a lot. I'll probably f uh, throw it on screen up here every now and then. But this is real important uh, for later. But again, you, you're not allowed to have this on in, uh, during runs, but for practice, say okay. This is actually how you train yourself to get the timing on. Because as you might know, uh, the difficult part about this whole run 
So there is a millisecond precise, I don't want to call it a trick, but occurrence happening. Not a frame perfect, I wish it was frame perfect. Milliseconds perfect, but that's for later. And I got no boards on and that's also projected somewhere else on the screen because it's uh, important. Not all the keys are relevant, but whatever. So, yeah, let's start the game. And whenever you want to new, uh, need to do a new attempt, you need to close the game and then reopen it. It is real important that after you start a new game, you want to mash uh, space and F as soon as possible because the time like starts immediately and you have no... You literally have no time to uh, waste. Got that millisecond timer? That starts now. In any case, we're going out here and we want to search for a police bike. You can see in the top right that it's like 6.50 right now. You have some time to like find a bike. The sooner the better. But the moment it's 7.46 you're too late. There's nothing you can do about that anymore. So I'm going to give this a little attempt. And if there's no police bike, I have to reset. Doesn't seem like it's uh, it's giving me any grace. So I have to reset. That means uh, quit the game and open it again. Oh, preferably, I don't have it on my timer. But preferably you want a millisecond timer. Or decisecond. Yeah, it's actually called a decisecond timer, but you want milliseconds on it. That's real important. Because I actually use life split. Oh, hey, police bike. So, no, 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 no. CJ, please. Yes. Okay, thank you. Oh, and now there's a second police bike. Just my luck. In any case, it's not 7.46 just yet, so I'm going south to get some grenades, because I need to off myself later on and blow a car up. So, grenades are really good here. So, while I'm looking out for 7.46 on the clock in the top right, I'm looking out for like 1.23-ish on my timer. I have a lot of time left. So I'm clicking R right now. R triggers Vigilante, or whatever key it is on the left, on your screen. I'm going home and I want this parked in my garage. And I want to be really careful. The moment it hits 46, I need to press R and cancel Vigilante. Gross, or what I, what, oh. what I want. I to work before I fucked everything up. As you can see on my cheat engine, it actually gave me 82101. That's really close to what I want. Yeah, that's cool. Nice car, smoke. So I need it to be a little bit earlier. Keep the value in it, keep it real. But while these cutscenes are happening, I can't do anything about these cutscenes. I can skip this cutscene. Then this cutscene is unskippable again. And from here on out the run goes a little bit like normal. Ballers, drive by, income. Drive by. So oh, all seven or at least crazy, that we know of, there are seven f uh, f variables that we want in the time in MS. And you want to hit one of those. There are some other f uh, variables that can work to end of the line one or end of the line two. I actually warped into end of the line one, but then the game crashed. And I warped in end of the line two, and I didn't know what to do. So that was interesting. Well, I know what to do. I'm an SA runner, of course. But I don't have the normal getup. And I don't even know how to aim in this version. <laughs> Silly old me. Yeah, this first part goes on as normal. There are no replays, so you, I don't have to worry about that. I'm just... Uh, I'm not even doing my best. It's not too important right now. What is important is the is the next portion. Shit, a baller's car is on to us. Split up. Keep up. Keep up, motherfucker. And then from here on out, the route is going to be a little bit different. 
Can I show the map? Yeah, okay, I can show the map. So there's uh, the map, and normally we go home uh, from here where we are, down uh, down here, and then normally so, via the skate park, and then from here on out we go to Grove Street. Well, there's a problem. Can I? Yeah, okay, cool. There are our friends, or actually not our friends, the vending machines, for whatever reason, if you get close to a vending machine, the time in MS will change, actually. I'll show that in a clip coming up. But just know that uh, somewhere around here, and the 10 green bottles, which is the bar here, have one of... These are the vending machines that you need to take care of. Or steer clear of, and... That means that I can't drive here because that will influence the thing. So I'm taking a different route. But yeah, it's important to like not be in this circle over here or uh, this circle over here. The circles are pretty big. I'm gonna find out what the actual radius is and actually put it on the map. Yeah, just so you know, I'm just pushing Ryder a little bit over here. Finding a bike, actually, it's, uh, or a police bike, it's actually good. Yeah, I'm staying here for a little bit. Uh, zooming all the way out, because that's what I normally do. In the moment, Ryder is past that. This way, inside of this little alleyway. And then usually I wait here for like one, two, three. And then the moment I get down here, that's when Ryder is also here. Oh, look. Perfect. Perfect. And then from here on out, uh, it's almost the same, except we can't drive directly past the 10 green bottles. So I'm, I'm like trying to steer, uh, to steer them a little bit, or push them a little bit. This is, I'm from the Netherlands, We everyone here has a bicycle, this is all totally normal and legal here. So it probably is in Los Angeles as well. And just for my conscience, I'm driving here. It's, it's not too important, but the radius does kind of extend into the road. Let's steer clear of that, then there's another cutscene. Sold them niggas who's gangster. Why the nigga? So when you leaving, Carl? And sure. there's this cutscene. No, no, okay, so coming up Thanks. are a few up. glitches. Oh, before I continue, I just noticed that my. Uh, that my no board actually doesn't recognize my WASD. Well, it's not too important for now. This has to do with uh, not getting the WASD cheat. Okay, whatever. I'm going here next to the 10 green bottles. I said don't go in here. But you actually have one free pass and we need to take the free pass over here. Normally when we get past it, like the script for that vending machine over there is now activated. But if I were to pass again, the time in chain the time in milliseconds would change again. So I cancel the phone call that we just got and I go in here. And I want to set next to this arcade. So what I want to do is press R and then the moment it's um it successfully loads I want to press escape again. And then mash that and get the white screen. The white screen is what I want. It, it is, however, possible. Uh, like, this is, this is what happens default, and this is a really good visual thing. But what you also can do is, if I have this window and I drag it just a little bit, it, it disappears. It's, uh, it's kind of weird. It actually didn't disappear, whatever. But yeah. I want to go to my grenade and throw two grenades. Hope and hopefully I will die.
I didn't die. I recommend like walking forward and throwing a grenade. I'm not that chill. Okay, if I'm not, not dead right now. Okay, now I'll hold tap and press escape. But right now I'm holding a phone call. That is uh, pretty normal if you know San Andreas original mode. And then how to dupe. And then here is a an ambulance. What? Okay, some things just blow, blew up. Before I go into this ambulance, I want to hold left control. That's the few stats thing. And now I can go into this uh, ambulance. Right now, I'm still holding the phone call. And I can actually drop the tap input for my on foot holding the phone call. And now I'm still holding the phone call. This is kind of weird, but bear, bear with me. I am holding a glitch phone call. And then before I go out, I need to hold tap again. So I'm parking this thing right here. So hold tap, go out. Now I can even let go of the few stats and I still have a glitch phone call, believe me. And then the moment I go in here, during the fade out, I need to let go. And then walk to the car and go in and you'll see that Ryder will actually talk a little bit like Sans from Undertale. So let go, space. And then that did it. Just run over there and I press F. Then he'll talk by. Then he will definitely talk like Sans from Undertale. If you did everything correctly, you can see that there's still an R on the map, meaning I can start the mission again. But I'm also on this mission. That is what's called as on mission zero. I'm thinking of staying. Why? Uh, My family. What am I doing? Right in the marker? We were always here, fool. Yeah, but now I'm back and I know what I've been missing. Okay, go out. Hold the phone call before going in here. You know where you at? Come on, CJ. Take it. Come on, CJ. I can do all And then the specifically buy the Afro and Stash. This is the only the like the most expensive one you have money for. Because since we died we got one hundred less. And this is the one that Ryder likes, because we want to get a haircut that he likes. Because that will produce the famous line, you know something? I'm not even going to say it, you'll hear it like 20 times in a little bit. So I'm getting that. Uh, that's not the one that I wanted. No. Small mistake. Pl please be better than me. And then verify. And do you have to press F? No, that happens automatically. And then during the fade out in the door, you let go of the phone call. So, now. And then you hold A, or whatever left is, and F. And then, real important, you will hear him say, You know something? I take it back. Old Re still got a Kraken. Before he finishes that line, you want to press escape and then escape again so that he repeats the line. You don't want him ever to finish that line, ever. So you saw me press escape twice. I'm currently escaped again. And by holding A and F, you go back into the, uh, what's it called, In into the barber shop. Now I want to go out again. And now I want to go back to Grove. What you want to do before you pause, you know some you want I to jump still you know because if you don't I take it back this happens you know some I take it back Ori still got you know some that's slow I take it back Ori still you know some I take it back Ori still got it you know some I take it back Ori still got you know some this is fun right I'm not holding anything I'm just running I'm I'm running incorrectly because I know that other people actually can run like way further. So what you want to do is like stay here. Don't go too much to the left just yet because of the ten uh, ten green bottles vending machine. And then 
old Reese. You know some. I take. You know some. I take. You and then you want to go into the marker. You know and before going into the marker, the marker is invisible. You want to have like restarted it. And then after that, skip the cutscene as fast as possible. Press escape again, and you'll notice that that he's like double as loud. That means that you did everything correctly, because there are two, uh, yeah, two instances of the game running or the, the mission. You know some, I take. You know some, I take. You know so, like you that. Know some, Perfect. I take it back. You know some, I take it. Back. You know some, I take it back. You know some, I take it back. You know some, I take it. I'm a little bit fast right now. You know some, Park here. I take it back. You know Go some, into the garage. I take it back. You collect know the grenades. Some, I take it back. And what I want to do is I want to uh, throw a grenade. Get onto the... Uh, yeah. Throw grenades towards the car so that it blows up. Get on the bike. And then the moment the car blows up and the screen goes a little bit, you press F. Start Vigilante. Then you wait one elephant and you press R. It's really important that you count that correctly because this is a time sensitive trick. So it's like F, one elephant, R. And if everything goes according to plan and the exact value is correct, you will actually warp to uh you will actually warp to the final mission. So let's see what happens. You know some, I take it back. You know some, I take it back. So get on. You know some, I take So I Actually, pause here, and I think this is the final pause. So, F one elephant R. You know some. I take it back. Oh. One elephant. So you see that it did something, and it was incorrect. Normally, it crashes here. Really important, hold the phone call, then press escape to get out of the cutscene. Oh, really important here. I said that I hold A and F, but after a little while, I also hold up, so W. To get into you know the thing, it, I take it back. Oh, you know some. It I feels a little bit, but oh, holding A all the time is not inherently bad. You know some. You know some. I take it back. I take it back. Okay, so if you ever fail and the game doesn't crash, and you can't press yes to retry, because that will set some weird flags and that will not make it possible. If you ever want to like retry, and like the best, the earliest thing you could do is go to start game and then load and then load the auto save. That is like right after Big Smoke, and then you have to go into the house and then get the glitch phone call in the ten green bottles and. That's the earliest like thing you could uh, you could use. Doesn't matter. You know some. I take, I take it, back. it back. Oh, Reese, you know some. This is still important. Back. You know some. I take it back. Time it well here. You know some. I take it back. Oh, Reese, you know some. Fortunately, Ryder stays in the car. Oh, you know some. I take it back. Get on. You know some. Okay, and now it's the magic's gonna happen. F then R. You know some I F one elephant error. But that didn't crash either. Hmm. Or it did crash, but it didn't work. Well about this. Like it's R and the moment it's loaded in, you press escape and then you mash R again. I was so lucky that I got it like first try every time. And I guess this time I'm not lucky. Okay, now I'm lucky. And if you then false fire and you you hear CJ throw the grenade, then you know that you're in the menu. Sometimes you're like in a menu menu. And what you want to do then is press escape once and then if everything is alright, you should be able to uh, throw grenades again. 
it's 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 kind of weird how that works. But just the moment the screen get, uh, gets white, try to uh, fr press left mouse button to throw grenades. If that works, uh, hope you die. Otherwise, walk forward. I didn't want to. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter if I get a wanted star. A glitch phone call. And otherwise, uh, press escape once, and then you should still be in the white menu. And then all's good in the hood, and you can you can do the thing. Hey, show me how they eh. do it. Hey. That that's funny. You know some, I take it back. I forgot the most important thing. You know I was thinking, some, hey, I, take it back. I need you know to actually some, explain you know how some, it works. And then some, I say, hey, it's F and R and R and F. And then I forget the most important thing. What, I, what I'm going to do right now is I have this change value thing. And I want to change this to the, the correct value. Again, this is not allowed, but for practice and for this tutorial video, it's allowed because I'm not sub submitting this. I mean, if you look at live split, it's 36 minutes. I've been I've been at this for a while because I've built this so often. On mistakes, not actually failing the timing and stuff. But yeah. Now that the t the thing is correct, like I try to re-record this so often you because I some. keep making mistakes I again. You know some. I but this time you it'll know work. Some. Trust me, I'm an back. engineer. You know some. I take it back. You know some. I take it. You know so, some. I take. Blow up. Okay. F then R. F one elephant R. You know some. I one elephant. And then you see Sweet's house, and then oh, that worked. The game is gonna ask you retry from last checkpoint. Press no. Ten penny, you motherfucking piece of shit. I ain't letting you get away with all you've done. Sweet, no. And congratulations, we're in it. And you can even drive during this cutscene. And if you actually fail this part, you can retry it endlessly. The only difference is that uh, is that you can't drive in that cutscene, but you can now. Don't touch any uh, directional keys during that cutscene until you get into the car, because that will actually cancel out things, and that is not a nice thing to happen when it finally happens. I'm not gonna play all of this out. The only recommendation that I can have is that if you have control oh, over your, your DPI on the, your mouse, oh, shit. just with how weird this game is, I got it. If you look at my settings into the controls, mouse sensitivity is. Oh, that's at 39. I guess I could increase that. But I had my DPI on. Uh, I think this might still be wrong. Yeah, my DPI currently is 6000. And after you catch Sweet, there is the uh, the shooting section, and I need to set my sensitivity to one hundred or ten thousand. I want to say one hundred percent, and I think this is like the result of me reinstalling this game since I haven't played this in a good little while. But yes, that is any percent, and from here now, it's basically the same. You go to the the freeway, you get sweet, and then you shoot a lot, uh, a lot of police, Russian mafia, fagos, and ba uh, ballas, and you win the game. From that point on, it's a literal auto scroller. This is not a weird auto scroller because that thing shouldn't be there. Oh, okay. Fortunately, this thing is like scripted and. Very close. There's a train coming here. Everyone in chat oh, man, always oh, reacts to, to the train. That I'm not following it, or rather, I'm following a stupid uh, fire truck. Yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, 
Uh, there are there's a comment section below, but if you want better answers, don't forget to join the Grand Theft Auto speedrunning Discord. I'll put an invite link in the in the doobly doo. Do people still call it that in the comment section? And the last thing I need to do is catch sweets. Uh, this is okay, good. Let go, you dumb catch. Yeah. And then just end it all because wh why would I? No, no. I do want to thank One Two Three Robot for actually teaching me how to do it Take mostly, and I've and everyone in the in the forums, uh, Podinet, for giving some truths. Uh, yeah, a lot of good people. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you'll kick me off my 12th place. So this is a clip of me actually driving past the uh, vending machine once. Nothing happens, no nothing weird happens. But if I actually go past it now, or I have to be extremely lucky, which I doubt, you can see that the time in MS actually jumps all the way to 358, 631, go past this again, it changes again. And if you want to know, like, how early it happens here... Don't you know what road rage is? Here. Which, I, get, I guess you're pretty much safe if you, if you drive even over the, the sidewalk here. Am I safe here, over the sidewalk? 382. No, you're not. You're not. You're actually not safe on the sidewalk. So this is Glen Park, and the earliest this vending machine actually activates. What wonderful drive! Could I drive here realistically? I, I think you do. Yeah. There, there's no problem actually driving here. I'm currently looking at time on MS and see if and when it changes. But I, I think you can just. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it, it's faster to like stay there. But yeah, the problem is, if I, if I drive here, for example, it doesn't... Yeah, it activates, like, right here. But one more test. One more test. If I go, like, super close to the wall here... Appreciate that. It's... Yeah, it activated again. There's no way of going past here without triggering the thing. And if you ever, like, have some grenades too many, or you forgot, then the vending machine is right here. So you can throw a grenade to it, for ruining your run. And I, I, I guess eat something out of the, the thing. Get some sprunk. The taste of things to come.